we're gonna put Uganda's flag there. What does it feel to be the first African player in Club Santos Laguna? Man, it's, it's <laughs> right now even you just saying that, I just realized like, yeah, it's a great honor, man. I'm happy like my country, my country flag is going to be up there somewhere. I played for Santos. Hi, my name is Sandra Nawetome. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Uganda, Kampala. I'm very excited and happy to be here at Santos Laguna, ready to meet my new teammates, my coaches. Hi, my friend. Hi, how are you? And the fans of the team. We're very happy to have you here. Thank you. Uh, we're here at the trophy room. We call it Sala de Trofeos. Nice trophies. What was it like to, to grow up in Uganda and be a football player? Growing up in Uganda, it's not like an easy thing because you go through a lot. It's not like any other country. Because I grew up with a single mom. She had to do everything for me. Before I started playing football, I was living with my grandmother. She told me my mom was playing football in the city. I had never seen her play. So I got interest playing football. Because when, of your mom? Yeah, when I heard that okay. she plays football, it's been tough and everything. And what it is like uh, Uganda? What is what is Kampala like? Kampala, Kampala, Kampala I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what is Kampala right. like? Kampala. Tell us a little more about it. Kampala is a fun city. It's crazy. It has a lot of people, um, loving people. You would love them if you met them. We do a lot of good things in Kampala. Dancing, Dancing playing football. Playing football, doing festivals. I was told that you started playing uh, with boys. Yeah, yeah. Football sure. with boys sure, sure. until you were 14. Um, uh, I started playing football, like I told you, when I was with my grandma, but it was just for fun because I didn't know, like, in Uganda there were girls playing football. So when I moved to high school, that's yeah. when I met, like, a uh, girls team and I joined them in 2010 but I never knew that there was girls playing football. I played with the boys from the little age to until I was 13. What would you say that you miss the most about Uganda? I miss my mom, I miss my family, so that's the only thing I like. I would say like I miss and I miss my friends because without them sometimes you be here. Because right now I'm like alone. Not alone, because I have you people, but <laughs> on your from, own. I am on my own, but I have you people to help me. But what do you think about the training fields? They're nice. I don't have most of this in Uganda. You don't have most of this? No. No, at all. Like, what is it like training in Uganda? It's hard because the grounds are hard. Well, at least you are already used to the heat. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. Yeah. Here in Torreon is very, very hot. I mean, even in oh. Uganda, sometimes it's hot, but this is way hotter, right? <laughs> it's way hot. I read about you and I know you played in Israel. You told me Iceland. just a moment ago, Iceland. Yeah. What was it like? What would you like to share with us about playing those leagues? Um, the level obviously is different from all the leagues I've, I've played in. But I think so far, I haven't played in the Mexican league, but I think it's going to be the highest level I've played on. And something from each country that you miss that you want to share with oh, us? I miss the food in Israel. <laughs> I miss the food. I miss the shawa shawarma. Yeah. What is uh, shawarma? Like, you ever tried shawarma? I don't know what it is, but I want to try it. It's like meat put in... I don't know how to explain it, but you know pizza? Pita. Pita. Yeah. Like bread. Yeah. Pita bread. Okay. In, uh, that's like what a I salad miss. with meat. Yeah, that's what I miss. Only in Uganda, I would say, because most of the other food is not like here. Uh, um, I would say matoke and. Matoke. What is that? Like plantain. Green bananas. That's what we okay. call them. Okay, okay. But the way we cook it in Uganda is different. Than like, uh, have you tried Mexican food so far? I did. The, what do you call it? Tacos. Tacos. I like, I like yeah. Mexican food. Yeah, yeah. yeah I had Mexican them when food. I was in Oklahoma. Also, you played in Oklahoma from 2016. Yeah, to, to 2020, 2019. But I graduated in 2020. I read you have a degree. Can you tell us more about it? It's yeah. impressive. I mean, I moved to. Oklahoma Oklahoma for college in 2016 when I left uh, high school in Uganda. I was doing engineering physics 
and I have a degree in engineering. Um, I was in Oklahoma for five years. It was not easy. You have to balance books and play because I was on a scholarship. To play, you have to do well in class. Yeah. So to keep up your GPA and grades, you have to be good so that you... You have to play. keep up the rhythm. Yeah, so I had to make sure that I do both. Have you been in the principal, principal, in the main team, in the main field? No, no I want to. You want to oh, go? Yeah, sure. Let's go to the main field. And do you like other sports other than soccer? Like playing them. Playing them or watching them? Yeah, I love them. watching basketball. I watch, love watching uh, tennis, American football. Yeah, those are the other sports I love watching. Maybe and volleyball. These are all the Wait, official photos. The team or the Mexican league? The Mexican female league was born in 2017. Wow. Yes. That's not long ago. Is it okay? Like... What? Me to record this. Yeah, yeah, you can do oh, it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Because it's nice. It's a nice shoe, man. Even the air here is different. It's different, from, yeah, from yeah. It's not that hot here. Yeah. How did Santos contacted you? How did you know about the Mexican soccer league? I mean, uh, my agent. Yeah. I got to Santos through my agent. Now it was like, well, we have one like an offer from Santos. I was like, Santos from Brazil? Like, you know, like <laughs> so, no, it was like no, it's Santos in uh, Mexico. So it was like they're interested in you, and this is what they're offering you. I've said the men's team. I I saw the um, what do you call it the video about uh, this old stadium, and yeah. I loved it. So I was like, okay, this might might be fun. What are your goals with Santos? Um, what do you want to accomplish here? Right now, my goal right now is like to get that first win and then we build on that. So that is one thing I'm like looking forward to. Since you have a lot of experience playing in Israel, Iceland, Uganda, Turkey, what do you think that is the most valuable thing that you can share with your teammates? One thing I would tell them is like, I know right now we have like, because we haven't won any game of like, you might be down, you'll be like, well, are we going to win any game? But we just have to like keep working, staying together and doing the little things for each other. Any Anything you want to say to the fans? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I just want to like call them to keep like, supporting us. I know the results are, have not been okay, but with time, the results are going to come. Just come, support us. Just believe in us. We are, we are going to get the results. Hi, I'm Sandra Nawetemi, Primeo Guerreras.